Bonjour, bonjour. J'espère que vous allez bien. Bienvenue. Hello everyone and welcome. I hope that you're doing well. Okay, so today we'll be looking at the topic of la nourriture. La nourriture, and that is food. Okay, au restaurant, at the restaurant, and les repas. Les repas. That's meals, okay? Get excited, on y va! Haha, donc, before we start, let's do a little quiz, hein? let's do a little recap to see what you have retained from what we did in the last lesson on drinks and that sort of thing. Nothing difficult. Let's go. Qui est l'étudiant étoile? Who is the star student? On y va. The first one, la première. Okay. Qu'est-ce que c'est? Qu'est-ce que c'est? Hmm. Oui. Giving you a moment to think about it. All right. C'est du soda. C'est du soda. That's singular. It is soda. We can say soda. C'est du soda. Since Coca-Cola is involved, you could say c'est du coca. But we just want to be general. Okay? C'est du soda. You could also say ce sont des boissons gazeuses. Ce sont des boissons gazeuses. They're fizzy drinks or ce sont des soda. Ce sont des soda. Okay, they're sodas. All right, that one was easy, wasn't it? C'était facile. On continue, let's go. Qu'est-ce que c'est? Mmm, délicieux. Qu'est-ce que c'est? Qu'est-ce que c'est comme boisson? Hmm? Est-ce que c'est une boisson chaude? Is it a hot drink? Est-ce que c'est une boisson froide? Is it a cold drink? Hmm? Oui, donc c'est... C'est du chocolat chaud. C'est du chocolat chaud. Avec des malonides. Avec... Uh, with marshmallows on top, I believe. Donc c'est du chocolat chaud. On continue. Let's go. Star students. Qu'est-ce que c'est? Oui? Qu'est-ce que c'est? Hum. Mm. J'ai faim. D'accord. C'est du lait. C'est du lait. That's milk. Got milk in your frigo, in your fridge. C'est du lait. All right. I'm sure we are getting this correct. I'm so proud of you. Je suis tellement fier de vous, hein. On continue. Et c'est quoi ça? Qu'est-ce que c'est? C'est une boisson froide. It's a cold drink. C'est quoi? What is it? Oui. Ok. Là, c'est du jus d'orange. C'est du jus d'orange. We see the orange slices and the orange halves in the picture, so we know it's orange, okay? Orange juice. C'est du jus d'orange. Du jus d'orange. C'est du jus d'orange. Okay? C'est un fruit. A fruit. Un fruit. Orange is a fruit. C'est du jus d'orange. On y va? Et là... Qu'est-ce que c'est? That's not a drink, but you know, you are supposed to look for 10 food items that you like. Qu'est-ce que c'est? Oh, man. C'est du yaourt. C'est du yaourt. C'est du yaourt. It's yogurt. And it's a particular flavor. Me? It's a particular flavor. Ça, c'est un abricot. 
un abricot un abricot bah déjà c'est un fruit un abricot is a fruit it's an apricot an abricot an apricot oui so let's look at some fruits okay let's look at some fruits and see which fruits we like to have at whatever time of the day the free like apricots an abricot an apricot on y va les fruits les fruits all right that's a beautiful array of arrangements of fruits there okay donc on y va les fruits Qu'est-ce que c'est? Oui. C'est une banane. It's easy to remember. Une banane. Much like in English, a banana. Une banane. C'est une banane. Ok, ensuite. Là, c'est quoi? Délicieux. C'est une pastèque. Une pastèque. Répétez. Une pastèque. Une pastèque. A watermelon. This one doesn't look so sweet. I don't know. Une pastèque. All right. Qui aime les pastèques? Qui aime les pastèques? Who likes watermelons? Qui aime les pastèques? Do you like watermelons? No, we? Oui. Moi, oui. I do. On continue. Let's go. Et ça, c'est quoi? Qu'est-ce que c'est? I should have put an, a Jamaican apple, you know. C'est une pomme. Une pomme. C'est une pomme. Oui? Super. Ensuite. Là. Là, c'est des raisins. Des raisins. Just think raisin, ok? It's pretty simple. Un raisin masculine, singular. Un raisin. A grape. Des raisins. Grapes. Now, please don't ask me what the raisin is. Okay, let's not go there. Just stick to the fruit for today. A raisin, a grape, des raisins, grapes. Okay. So when you think of grapes, think of raisins. Raisin. Hmm. Et là c'est un ananas. Un ananas. Pineapple, delicious. La c'est une mangue. Ma préférée. Une mangue. J'aime beaucoup des mangues. I really love mangoes. Une mangue. Une mangue. Delicious. We oui, that one looks very ripe and juicy. Un mangue. On continue. Et là, c'est une fraise. Une fraise. Strawberry. A strawberry. Une fraise. Oui. I should put a disclaimer. Do not watch this when hungry. Une fraise. Une cerise. That's a cherry. There are many here, but let's just say a cherry. Une cerise. So that we know what gender it is. Une cerise. Une cerise. It's feminine. All right. Une cerise. Plural, des cerises. 
une series, one single Dege Dege Cherry, une series, as opposed to des series, des series, cherries, okay, we continue. Now let's look at some meat, okay, we're looking at food, we just look at some fruits. Now let's look at some meat, the different meat kinds that we will be looking at. So everybody, let's say la viande. La viande. La viande. Oui. All right, la première. Du bœuf. Du bœuf. Du bœuf, and that is? beef okay then we have du poulet du poulet du poulet poulet du poulet that one looks roasted so it's a du poulet roti du poulet all right roti r-o-t-i -I like roti du poulet roti And then we have du poisson, du poisson, du poisson, poisson, okay? You pronounce S is S, be careful not to pronounce it Z, because poisson is a totally different kettle of fish, okay? That's poisson is poison, so be careful with the pronunciation, poisson, and not poisson, poisson, S. Two S's, sir, sir, du poisson. All right. Okay, let's continue. So we have la viande, and as as meat we have du bœuf, du poulet, and du poisson. Et du poisson, poisson. Okay, on y va. All right, so let's say we go to a restaurant, right? We have different courses, the plat. We can have a main course. Well, before the main course, we could have an entree. That's a starter course. Then we have the main course, le plat principal. And then we could have le dessert, okay? Dessert. Now we'll be looking at the different kinds of foods that we will have as dishes or as courses at a restaurant for example all right so we're looking at au restaurant les plats all right on y va we have une entrée une entrée and that's a starter course or you could say l'entrée all right that's a starter course all right this beautiful thing we have here is une salade une salade une salade all right now what is a salad it comprises of mostly vegetables we oui? depending on the kind of salad you're having this one is mostly vegetables and we say vegetables in French, we say des légumes. Des légumes. Des légumes. Des légumes. That's vegetables. Now, c'est quoi? C'est quoi exactement comme légumes? Il y a quoi comme légumes? What, what, what do we have here as vegetables? What kind of vegetables do we have here? Okay. Donc, il y a il y a de la laitue, la laitue, that's lettuce, la laitue, la laitue, lettuce. Il y a aussi, there's also, il y a aussi, there's also, La tomate, de la tomate, 
We also have some tomatoes. De la tomate. La tomate. All right. We have some tomatoes also. Then we have des onions. I think these are onions. Huh? They could be cabbages as well. They shoot. But let's just call them onions for today. So we have des onions. These things here, they look like onions. These things. Des onions. Onions. I don't think that's a thing. Des onions. Alright, so we have une salade. Une salade de. Une salade. Une salade. De légumes. Une salade de légumes avec de la laitue, la tomate et des oignons. Une salade de légumes avec des tomates, de la laitue et des oignons. Ok? Delicious. On continue. You can also have as a starter, as an entree, as you see that as well in English, de la soupe. De la soupe. Okay? It looks like pumpkin soup à la citrouille. Let's not go there today. We just say à la, de la soupe. De la soupe. Okay? Now this, this is a very particular dish, entree. Ça c'est des escargots. Un escargot is a snail, but this is des escargots, snails. It's, uh, you can have it in different ways, I'm no specialist on the matter. So des escargots, snails, okay? Des escargots. All right. Then let's look at le plat principal. Le plat principal. Let's look at the main course. So if you go to like a cafe or a little restaurant, maybe you're not having a three course meal, right? Maybe you're just having something quickly on the go. You could have a sandwich. A sandwich. A sandwich. Maybe you could also have a non-burger. A non-burger. Un bear girl. A non bear girl. Remember that the H's are silent at the start of French words. A non bear girl. Okay? Maybe you could also have. Okay, do your thing. Des frites. So you're having a non bear girl avec. With. A non bear girl avec des frites. A hamburger with fries. A non bear girl avec des frites. Frites, des frites, a hamburger with fries. Okay. You could also have a hot dog. Same as in English, as you can see. These three same as in English. A hot dog, hot dog, a hot dog. All right. So maybe you would have had a sandwich, restauration rapide, you know, fast food. A sandwich, a hamburger, a hot dog. Maybe also, une pizza, une pizza. So remember all of these three, sandwich, hot dog, hamburger, these are masculine. Then we have une pizza, which is feminine, all right? So all of these are words that we use in English, except for the pizza, which is not far from fries anyway. Fries with a T in between, all right? So these are dishes, these are meals that you could have quickly on the go at a restaurant, at a cafe, right? You could have this as a 
as a quick meal. Let's not even say main course. It's a quick meal. All right. So recapitulo. Let's recap. A sandwich. A hamburger. Avec des frites. A hot dog. A hot dog. Et une pizza. Une pizza. All right. Beautiful. Est-ce que tu aimes des pizzas? Do you like pizzas? Est-ce que tu aimes des hot dogs? Do you like hot dogs? Est-ce que tu aimes des hamburgers? Et des frites? Oui, moi, moi j'aime beaucoup. Hein? I really like those. Est-ce que tu aimes des sandwichs? J'aime tout. I like everything. Et toi et vous? What do you like? What do you like? On continue avec les plats principaux. Avec main courses. Ah oui, il y a aussi un croque monsieur. That's a particular one. It's a toasted ham and cheese sandwich. Un croque monsieur. Un croque monsieur. It's a toasted ham and cheese sandwich. All right. On continue. All right. So we looked at some viande. Qu'est-ce que c'est la viande? What is la viande? Oui. It's meat, la viande. So we looked at du bœuf, right? And we could also say on steak, on steak, on beef steak, a steak, you know, uh, just like in English, same English word, on steak, right? So these are some of the meats that we can have as a main course. And we're going to be looking at what we will have them with, what we can have them with. So il y a du bœuf, there is beef. Du steak, steak, du poulet, et du poisson, right? Now, we can have those with du riz, du riz, R-I-Z, du riz, rice, Des pommes de terre, des pommes de terre, that is potatoes, right? Or you could say une purée, une purée de pommes de terre, une purée de pommes de terre, une purée, and that is mashed potatoes, une purée, une purée de pommes, mashed potatoes, all right? So you could have du poulet avec du riz, du poulet avec du riz, chicken and rice, du poulet avec des frites, du poulet avec des frites, chicken and fries, du poisson avec du riz, fish and rice, du poisson avec euh, des pommes de terre, fish and potatoes, du bœuf avec du purée, de la purée, right? So there are many options, but let's look at some famous combinations en français, in French. So we have up top to the left, le steak frites. Le steak frites is a beef steak with fries. Le steak frites. And below we have les moules frites. Les moules frites is mussels with fries. It's a Belgian dish. Right? It's very, I think it's even the national dish of Belgium. Je ne suis pas sûr que I'm not even sure. Alright? So, le steak frites et les moules frites. Now, after you have your main course, you can follow it up with un plat, un plat de fromage, some cheese, du fromage, all right, du fromage, now, 
We've had our entrée, we've had our plat principal, so we've had our starter course and our main course. We've had le fromage, we've had the cheese. Now let us have quelque chose de sucré, let's have something sweet. So we're looking at les desserts, les desserts. All right, we're looking at desserts. Les desserts. And that is du sucre, sugar, okay? Du sucre, du sucre. We're talking about something sucré. Something sugary, something sweet. All right? Ew. Les desserts. And these desserts always have lots of, not always, but have lots of sucre. Du sucre. All right, on continue. Let's go. So the first things first, we have un gâteau. Un gâteau. Now this one is un gâteau au chocolat. Un gâteau au chocolat. Un gâteau au chocolat. A chocolate cake. All right, that is one kind of dessert that we can have. We can also have de la glace. La glace, and that's ice cream. De la glace. Okay, what else can we have? De cookie. De cookie. All right. So these are the different kinds of desserts that we have. Clearly there are many, 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 many more, but let's just keep it simple. Huh? On gâteau, on gâteau au chocolat, chocolate cake, la glace, ice cream, et des cookies, cookies, all right? So since we're all home, or home for the most part, now is a good time to learn how to cook, huh? No more going to the restaurant, just stay home, stay sanitized, tana your yard, and prepare your own meals, huh? So we're talking about les repas, les repas, we're talking about meals, and we have meals at different times of the day, we're talking about breakfast, lunch, dinner, okay? Breakfast, le petit déjeuner. Le petit déjeuner, lunch, le déjeuner, le déjeuner, and dinner, le dîner, le dîner. Clearly, I'm gonna bring it up on the slide just now, but let's look at the different meals that we can have and what we can have for these meals. So, first question: Qu'est-ce que tu prends au petit déjeuner? Qu'est-ce que tu prends au petit déjeuner? Qu'est-ce que tu prends au petit déjeuner? What do you have for breakfast? All right, je vous raconte ma vie. Hein? I'm going to tell you what I have, what I like having. Moi, j'aime prendre des fruits. J'aime prendre des fruits. OK? Oui, j'aime beaucoup des fruits. Peut-être un smoothie. So, j'aime prendre des fruits. I like to have fruits. Peut-être un smoothie. Maybe a smoothie. Ok? Uh, quoi d'autre? What else? J'aime aussi du thé. Le thé est important. Tea is important. Le thé est important. Important. Tea is important. Pour moi. Pour moi. So, du thé, c'est une boisson chaude. Tea is a hot drink. So, j'aime prendre des fruits, peut-être un smoothie. Et j'aime prendre aussi, j'aime prendre aussi du thé. Du thé. Ok, ou un café, ou du chocolat chaud. Yeah, I like taking warm drinks. Tea, coffee, du café, du chocolat chaud, hot chocolate. Et un sandwich. 
a sandwich, right? A sandwich. So, j'aime prendre des fruits, peut-être un smoothie, du thé, et un sandwich. Et vous, qu'est-ce que vous aimez prendre au petit déjeuner? Qu'est-ce que vous aimez prendre au petit déjeuner? What do you like to take to have for breakfast? Qu'est-ce que tu prends pour le déjeuner? What do you have for lunch? Qu'est-ce que tu prends pour le déjeuner? What do you have for lunch? Okay, you can... I'm expecting you guys to answer these questions, alright? Donc, peut-être un sandwich. That is un sandwich. A sandwich, oui? Maybe you have a box lunch. What is in the box lunch? There is... There is... What is this? C'est quoi comme viande? What kind of meat is this? C'est du poulet. Du poulet. That's chicken. And then what are they having with the chicken here? I'm seeing some rice. Du riz. Du riz. Some rice. And then what's this here? What is this cut up cut up business going on over here? Ça c'est des légumes. De legume, okay, that's vegetables. So maybe you have a box lunch avec du poulet, du riz et un petit peu de legume. Du poulet, du riz et des legume. Chicken, rice and vegetables. That's what Jamaican lunch normally looks like for many persons. We, oui? what else? Ah oui. Patties. Patties. What are you having for lunch? Qu'est-ce que tu prends pour le déjeuner? A patty? No, Jamaican patties. Un chausson. I honestly, un chausson. No, a chausson is like a turnover, but that's the closest thing I could find to it. So you see, un chausson de bœuf. Un chausson de bœuf. That's a beef patty, in my estimation. Un chausson de bœuf, un chausson de poulet, un chausson de poulet, that's a chicken patty, or un chausson de crevettes, un chausson de crevettes, de crevettes, what is crevettes, that's shrimp, a shrimp patty, so you could have a patty, un chausson de bœuf, un chausson de poulet, or un chausson de crevettes. Alright, that is how I, that's my estimation of what pâté would be. It's not pâté, no. It's en chausson, I believe. En chausson de bœuf, de poulet, or de crevettes. Oui? So, what does your lunch consist of in this COVID period? Huh? Let me know. Okay, donc pour terminer. Alright, to end it. Qu'est-ce que tu prends? Pour le dîner. Qu'est-ce que tu prends pour le dîner? What do you have for dinner? What are you having for dinner? Qu'est-ce que tu prends pour le dîner? Now remember, since I'm here, let's just remember that the word prendre literally means to, to take, right? But when we're using it as it relates to food, it means to have. Qu'est-ce que tu prends pour le dîner? In this context of food, you're saying, what do you have for dinner? In this context, prendre means to have, all right? So, qu'est-ce que tu prends pour le dîner? What do you have for dinner? De la soupe, hein? de, du yaourt, some yogurt, de la pizza, some pizza, uh, du jus, some juice, je ne sais pas. Tell me. All right, donc, après tout ça, je vous fais... Bon appétit, after everything, enjoy your meal. I hope you are not as hungry as I am. Bon appétit, bonne continuation, au revoir et à bientôt. Ciao, ciao, bye.